All new tonight at 6. Both Republicans and Democrats in Frankfurt say Kentucky must be more competitive to attract and retain school teachers. The governor wants to mandate 11% pay raises across the state. This week, GOP lawmakers making it clear that's not in their plans. Our senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez is going to break that down in just a second. But first, take a look at where Kentucky ranks in starting teacher pay compared to our neighboring states. Kentucky is the lowest with our average starting pay at just $37,300 a year. That's according to the National Education Association. The next lowest isn't far behind. Indiana and Ohio at 38,000. Tennessee stands at 39,000 a year. But the state just passed their biggest teacher raise in its history. Starting salary will increase to 50,000 over the next three years in Tennessee, and Illinois starting teacher pay stands at $41,000. Isaiah is joining us at six, and the budget bill would certainly invest billions, really hundreds of millions more dollars into our, our local schools. Mm -hmm. But what is that going to mean for the pay, which is the seems to be the top sure. issue here? Well, Doug, I can't speak for every school district across the state, but I did talk to a high-ranking official in Bullitt County, for example, actually their superintendent. It's a school district of more than 12,000 students, and I'm told this current funding bump would not move the needle much for their salaries. Kentucky House Republicans are proposing boosting per student funding 4% in the next fiscal year and then another 2% in the fiscal year after that using the annual funding model called SEEK. In their budget bill, lawmakers encouraging, quote, local school districts to provide certified and classified staff a salary or compensation increase. They even direct local school boards to, quote, consider the actions of other states. It would allow us to only give about a 3% raise across the board. Um, and that's, 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 every, that's putting every additional dollar that we have into salaries and compensation benefits, which doesn't keep up with the cost of inflation right now. Bullitt County Public School Superintendent Jess Jesse Bacon appreciates what the state is putting on the table, but he tells me local school districts need more to fight the shortage of teachers. We cut about all we can cut, uh, and that's the biggest issue. GOP leaders in Frankfurt have said Kentucky needs to be more competitive in hiring and retaining compared to neighboring states like Tennessee and Indiana. Education is economic development, and we should be fully funding that. It's development of our workforce. There's nothing more important. Debbie Westland served on JCPS's Board of Education for two terms and has seen the need in classrooms grow. I've read where they're leaving for other jobs that pay better. The amount of money that, that they're providing for that is, is not nearly enough. SEEK funding has not kept pace with inflation. Back in November, Kentucky Senate President Robert Stivers acknowledged the funding formula may soon need updating. I think in the next few years, the whole funding system for K through 12 would have to be looked at in the lens of is the SEEK formula outdated? Meanwhile, lawmakers also outline a consequence. They say if local school boards don't make adequate progress in recruitment and retention, it may lead to, quote, the closure of individual schools, the takeover of an individual board of education, or the potential consolidation of boards of education. I think it's a um, it's a talking point for the maybe the media or maybe the but I think it's an idle one. I mean, it, it's like telling a teacher that if kids don't learn, you're not going to get paid. I don't know. There's many teachers that don't want their kids to learn. Well, as Stivers told you about a week ago, there are a possible state takeover of JCPS once again on the table. They've talked about breaking up JCPS into uh, diff different districts, and now. Another state audit of JCPS, you've learned? Yeah, Doug, in that same budget bill, we're looking at $750,000 specifically earmarked to do another, yet another state audit. It seems like we've talked about it in length, and that, of course, comes as the Kentucky Senate president brings up potential options they're looking at to fix some of the issues within JCPS, including state takeover, potentially, and, of course, dividing the district. All right. Thank you very much, Isaiah.